morning, Shafter High School, and welcome back to the Grab City HQTV Shafter High School's news source. I'm Alexis, and today is Friday, February 9th. Now let's see what's going on in our general community. Students, Nutrition Services is calling all junior chefs to the ultimate flavor showdown. Put on your aprons and create a fun and delicious new dish that your school could feature in the cafeteria. You can also win other great prizes, including an iPad, camera, or gift card. To enter, you must create a dish using healthy and delicious ingredients. Take a photo of your dish and fill out an entry form. Be sure to get those recipes and forms filled out and return to your school cafeteria by February 29, 2024. <laughs> Finalists will be invited to participate in a live recipe and cook-off challenge in April. Good luck! Also, in honor of it being Black History Month, every day we'll be talking about who who have had every day we'll be talking about who have had a big impact on American history. Um, American history is <laughs> um, so yeah. Today we will in introduce you to John Henrik Clark. John Henrik Clark. He was a writer, historian, and professor. He was a pioneer in the creation of African studies. So yeah, it's cool. Um, students, every Wednesday, come wearing any collar shirt or hoodie to earn pride points on your five-star app. This includes every Friday as well with general gear. Now let's send it over to Jane with weather. Hey guys, I'm Jane and this, I'm gonna be your weather girl for today. So today is gonna be a high of 56 and a low of 37. Saturday is gonna be a high of 58 and a low of 38. And Sunday is gonna be a high of 61 and a low of 35. That's it for weather, and let's head back to the main show. On Friday, February 23rd, FFA will be hosting our second blood drive in the parking lot by Ag Mechanic Shop in Central Valley. Students that are interested in donating blood need to be 16 and weigh 110 pounds and also fill out a permission slip. We are now introducing the word of the day. Today's word is believe. To accept something as true, it's hard to believe in untrustworthy, untrustworthiness. So believe in yourself. Yeah. Uh, seniors, make sure to apply for a hashtag Kern Future Scholarship from Kern Community Foundation from December 1st through March 17th, 2024. Graduating Kern County High School seniors who have a 2.0 GPA or higher and are planning to attend a two-year college, a four-year university, or accredited technical school are welcome to apply for a scholarship from Kern Community Foundation for the 2024 through 25 academic year. The scholarships range from 500 to 3,000. Seniors, we have great news. These are all about seniors, man. Um, we have great news. The City of Shafter slash BC scholarship deadline has been extended to Wednesday, February 28th. The only requirement is a 2.0 or higher GPA. For assistance, see Ms. Dela Cruz in the Career Center. You know, shout out to Ms. Dela Cruz. Like, she is, she is always helping those seniors. Like, shout out to you, Ms. Dela Cruz. You're doing awesome. Um, speaking of scholarships, seniors, the local scholarship application is available. This is a scholarship unique to Shafter High. By filling out this application form, you'll be taking part in about a dozen different scholarships. The application is available only in the Career Center. Um, every year, the Lopez family offers $10,000 in scholarships to Shafter High school students. The only requirements are being a 12th grader at Shafter High and having a GPA of 2.5 or higher and planning on pursuing higher education. Applications are available in the Career Center and the deadline is April 8th. Now let's send it over to Sports with Jane. What's up, everyone? I'm Jane of the Gus Sports. Our girls basketball varsity won against Wasco with a score of 78 to 15. This, our lady generals, this led our Jane, lady generals to come back to, to become back-to-back -back SSL champs. Also, the girls will be heading to playoffs. The team they will be playing is to be decided. Also, last night was Coach Pennell's last time coaching. He coached for 11 seasons here at Shafter High and will always be part of the Lady Generals. Boys varsity basketball came home with a win against Wasco last night with a score of 56 to 44. Good job, boys. Boys wrestling is at Hoover High School and girls wrestling is at Morro Bay High School. If you'd like to purchase a swim shirt or jacket, feel free to print out an order form and page you in the finance office by February 16th. Our swimmers would love to see our team supported around campus. Boys wrestling, if you are no longer in, 
no longer in wrestling. You have until today to turn in your singlet and headgear to punch. That's it for sports. Turn it back to the main show. GSA will be selling candy grams created by the Art Club from February 1st to February 9th. Well, today's the last day because today's February 9th for $1, so make sure to go get those. The Art Club will also be offering $1 face painting, so stop by the table by the Deans to support Art Club and GSA. Valentine's face painting by the Art Club will take place February 6th and 7th. Ooh, that already happened, guys, so hopefully you went to go get your face painted and supported them, but yeah. So students show off your artistic talents and at the same time make a positive impact on your, on your community through the Cannes de Arte project. Chess Club will be meeting today in room 604 during lunch. Attention Key Club members, our next meeting will be on Wednesday, February 14th in room 412 at 1 during lunch. Come grab a Valentine cookie and sign up to help for the Shafter Community's Chess Annual Spaghetti Dinner that will be held on Thursday, February 22nd at the Shafter Veterans Hall. See you there. Students tutoring is open and is available Monday through Thursday in the library. Morning sessions are from 7.30 to 8.20 and afternoon sessions are from 3.30 to 5. On that note, generals, have a super general day and tune in next week for another great episode of HQTV Shafter High School's News Source.